guys, welcome back to the Stuff of Legend. My name is Dilo, and today I wanted to give you guys a theory video that I want, have been wanting to put out for some time, and I think just because of the day uh, that's approaching, Infinity War is coming up, I wanted to just put my thoughts out there about um, the Soul Stone. So everyone has their theories about the Soul Stone and where it is, and you know, everyone who's seen Black Panther is like, oh, it's not in, it wasn't in Wakanda, we don't know where it is, it's probably still in, you know, Vision somewhere, or maybe, you know, in Asgard somewhere we don't really know well I have a different theory and I thought it was obvious if you've seen my other theory videos I'm generally pretty confident about the theories that I create because generally I don't talk about my theory unless it has a lot of uh, evidence to back it up it doesn't mean that it's gonna be it I'm excited to see Infinity War not because of my theory but just because I've been waiting just like all of you guys let me just tell you guys what I think about the Soul Stone where it is and my my theories here and we'll see when Infinity War comes out if that is or is not the case so my theory here is that Wakanda still contains the Soul Stone. Now, for those of us who have seen Black Panther, I've had many discussions with a lot of my friends and others that have uh, have seen it, and they they were bummed because they were like, we didn't get to see the Soul Stone, now we don't know where it is. And I was like, wait a minute, yes we did, we totally got to see the Soul Stone. People were like, what do you mean? And I'm... I'm sitting here thinking that, you know, in the multiple times that I saw it in theaters and every single time I saw it, I mean, especially the first time, because I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. There it is. And my friend afterward, he's like, what do you mean? No, they didn't show the soul stone. I was like, yes, they did. And he's like, what are you talking about? The soul stone is the heart of the meteor that fell to Africa and they built Wakanda over it. And you're saying, no, that was... That was vibranium. Well, you're right, and, and there's more to it. We know that the meteorite, the body of it, the casing, was vibranium. And they've been mining it for thousands of years. This is as the story goes. This is what we know Ulysses Claus said to us. Wakandans have been mining it for thousands of years, and yet they have not gotten to the heart of the meteor. And that's, you know, according to Ulysses Claw, they've barely scratched the surface. And they have mined a lot of vibranium. So this meteorite must have been huge. Absolutely massive. And it's also the second toughest metal in the Marvel Universe next to adamantium, which is what makes up Wolverine's skeleton, you guys know this. If uh, vibranium is so tough and it also has the ability to repel kinetic energy, as we already know, that's why they use it in their armor, that's why it made Cap Shield out of it. Why then was vibranium able to radiation soak the earth and cause the heart-shaped herbs to grow? And we know that Boss the Panther goddess blessed the people and showed them the way to use the heart-shaped herb to connect to the ancestral plane and to connect to their ancestors. That is, they can use that herb to connect to the souls of the dead. It's because of the radiation. It's, it's not because of Boss. Boss showed them the way. She didn't create the way, she showed them the way. The plants were created by radiation that came off of the meteorite soaked ground because of that radiation. Now, um, some people were like, oh well, yeah, the vibranium created a radiation that soaked the earth. No, it didn't. The vibranium did not have any radiation. It was the heart of the meteor that was encased within the vibranium that had tons of radiation and radiation that would then give off the ability to connect to the souls of the dead, the ancestors of the Black Panther. The heart of the meteor is the soul stone and it was encased in vibranium to protect it and to keep it from being touched by anybody else so that nobody could get to it. As we know, they've been mining for thousands of years. They haven't even gotten to the center of that Tootsie Pop. <laughs> That's a lot. I mean, you saw the nation of Wakanda is built primarily, not exclusively, but primarily out of vibranium. Their armor has has it woven into everything. They use it for medicine. They use it as pretty much anything that they can build, including their railway system that goes all throughout the city, is uh, vibranium. So they've been mining a lot of this stuff. And it took a long time to develop the process to mine it because it's so dense and so tough and so darn near invulnerable. But we know that they did. And they've been using using sonic weapons and sonic dampening to be able to disable the effect of the vibranium. And that's how they've been able to neutralize it so that they can mine it. There is no radiation coming off of vibranium, though. A friend was like, oh, yeah, I know the, the heart-shaped herb grew because of the radiation of the vibranium. No, there was no vibranium radiation. Otherwise, Howard Stark would have died from cancer or, you know, there would have been some adverse effect from Howard Stark, from anybody who came in contact with Vibranium, Ulysses Claw, many of the Wakandans, I mean, especially the Wakandans, gosh, that would have been like living in the nuclear sector of Utah or Nevada and all those nuclear test sites. I mean, you got radiation soaking, people are going to get sick, people are going to die. And um, that's not what happened. Vibranium does not have radioactive properties, but the Soul Stone would. 
the soul stone would give off radiation. So in that, like I mentioned before, you know, it was encased to protect it from anybody getting to the center. Now, we know at the end of Black Panther, this is another spoiler, so I'm sorry, you know, tune out right now if you need to uh, still go see Black Panther, because everything I talked about is pretty much in the beginning of Black Panther. You didn't, you didn't, I didn't spoil a whole lot for you yet, but I'm about to. So the end credit scene of Black Panther shows Wakanda coming to the UN. It's T'Challa, and he shows up and he basically announces that Wakanda has resources that the rest of the world needs. Vibranium. Now, we're going to see them entering the world market, entering trade so that the rest of the world can benefit from the resources and the wealth of Wakanda. And this is, in essence, purely Vibranium. I mean, that's their number one resource to sell and trade. And then also the knowledge that they've gained from using this and learning it and mining vibranium and the properties that can come with that different healing and you know because there is energy that comes with that i mean they've been able to harness and create really cool stuff so they're going to be able to trade those things but it's it's probably 90 95 percent vibranium trades they're going to be selling that to the world and the world's going to need a lot of it supply and demand they're going to demand a whole lot and the supply is limited they're going to eventually eat their way to the center of the vibranium mine. Now, when they do, I am confident they're gonna find the soul stone. Now, even if they don't get there before Infinity War, I mean, we've got 20 days and no movies between now and Infinity War. But that being said, they don't need to. Thanos is coming to Wakanda. The battle is gonna rage in Wakanda. A lot of people think that it could be because some of the uh, Avengers might be there. They might be wounded. They might rush them there for emergency medical attention. This could be true. However, I don't think that's going to be why Thanos shows up. I don't think he's gonna be chasing this, the Mind Stone from Vision and he's gonna wind up in, in Wakanda. No, I think that he's gonna probably take the Mind Stone from Vision somewhere else and then make his way over to Wakanda to retrieve the Soul Stone because it's hidden there underneath Wakanda. He's gonna have to tear the place apart to get to that Vibranium Mine. So once he does, he's very powerful. He'll probably have two uh, or three of the gems already, maybe even four, and he'll just be able to rip his way to the heart of that meteor and get himself the soul stone we're all going to find it it's going to be there just like they essentially said it was back in the beginning of black panther now a lot of people are like we didn't see it so it's not there well <laughs> it doesn't have to you don't have to see something for it to be there in iron man 2 on the map we saw shield had brought up a map and it had wakanda and um atlantis pinged on the map on the G gps we saw those you don't have to see anything else you don't have to see words you don't have to see the actual nation you basically just see a ping on a map and we know what they're talking about that's what was happening here and they, they spelled it out for us saying that the radiation that soaked the plant created a plant that could connect you to the souls of your ancestors. I mean, what is that? I mean, that is a direct tie to the soul stone. I mean, if it's not, I'm going to be really shocked. That essentially is my theory. I do believe that the soul stone is in Wakanda and it's not because of some stretch of the imagination. It's because of a ton of evidence that was laid out for us in the prelude to Infinity War. This is the movie that's right before Infinity War. They're building it up. They've shown us all the other stones and the soul stone is in Wakanda just essentially like they said it was. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening here. They told us they hadn't gotten to the center of the meteor yet but that the meteor was causing the soaking of the plant and the earth to create the heart-shaped herb. You guys know this so. You guys let me know in the comments if you think this is valid logic. Am I crazy? Is it bogus? Do you guys have a better idea of where the soul stone is and please explain to me why because I mean this seems to make sense to me. I didn't really think I had created this in my head. I thought this was just what was being said in the movie. You know, let me know in the comments. I'm really excited to engage with you guys about this. So thank you guys for listening. Give me a like, share, comment down below for sure. That's why I make these videos is so I can connect with you guys and we can build this community of fans who adore these movies. I'd love to talk with you guys about that. Again, subscribe for more and please hit the notification bell to be alerted right away when I upload my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time on The Stuff of Legend.